Press the Tools hard key to access the Tools window. Inside the Tools window, the physical inputs and outputs to the console can be configured. The Remote Touch Board option allows you to send a low voltage signal to the console to trigger an executor hard key. 16 low voltage triggers can be sent via an 18 way D connector on the back side of the console. Remote DMX In allows you to trigger executor faders or hard keys. This means that any manual DMX console can act as extra playback faders for any of the GranMA range of consoles. 96 DMX channels can trigger 96 executor fader or hard keys on any page. Remote MIDI allows sending up 108 MIDI notes as triggers to executor hard keys. You may specify which MIDI channel you wish the console to listen to. Each MIDI note is labeled by name and number. The MA network allows you to configure your console's connection to other GranMA consoles for backup or multi-user purposes. Networking is covered more closely in Chapter 11. Remote Network allows you to monitor any pocket PC remotes that are currently logged into your console. You may click on a particular remote and graphically monitor how it is being used from your console. Messages can directly be sent to remote users. Disconnection of a specific remote users is also possible. The Manage Fixture library lets you browse and delete custom created fixture personalities. The Manage Parameter Profiles is where you can create custom response curves for any fixture parameter. Creating a curve is simple. Just drag the points on the graph. Predefined curves are also available. These curves can be applied to dimmer parameters to make different types of dimmer racks respond in the same way. They can also be used to make pan and tilt parameters of different moving lights to move in the same way. With the sound settings, window levels for the sound cues can be specified. By using the graphic equalizer, the trigger point can be set while analyzing the audio coming in from an external source. User profiles are used to change views and default settings by entering a username and password. Each user can be granted certain rights by an administrator, such as being allowed to program or only to program presets. User profiles are an excellent way to manage access to a console during a show. It also helps programmers who often use different rental consoles on a regular basis keep their settings when switching consoles. If you want to use Pocket PC remotes, it is essential that you create user profiles for each person that needs access. A remote cannot connect to a GranMA console without logging in as a user. To set up a user profile, you have to be logged in as an administrator. There will always be a user called administrator with the password admin. A user profile is made up of a profile and a user. Multiple users can all use the same profile or they can have different profiles. Remember that if multiple users are sharing a profile and one user changes some settings or views, they will be changed for all users of that profile. You can start the creation of a profile by right-clicking in the new line and entering a name. Do the same under User. Enter a password for the new user and then select the rights for this user. Finally, link the user with the new profile that you created. Now you're ready to log in with this new user profile. After logging in, a pop-up window will prompt you that your user profile is empty and allow you to copy information from the user who originally created the show. That way, you do not lose any views that you have already created.